All right, let's talk about DNA replication. So here are the syllabus objectives. There's several there. Um, we, it's, it, the syllabus objectives are really are about the enzymes involved. Helicase and DNA polymerase and need to understand how they're involved in the process of DNA replication. Uh, and also you need to be able to make reference to the direction of replication. So we're going to spend some time talking about that. First of all, what was the point of DNA replication? Well, every time there's cell division, firstly, the genome needs to be replicated. So that's what we're doing with DNA replication. We're reproducing or replicating all of the DNA in the cell before cell division occurs. Now, um, the thing about replication is it's semi-conservative. So we start with um, our two uh, strands, our, our double strand of the parental DNA, and we end up with um, one parental strand and one new strand or daughter strand um, and the same thing over this side. So we've got one parental strand and one daughter strand. So it's semi-conservative because half of the DNA is from uh, is original and half is new. So that way we double the amount of DNA, replicate it prior to cell division. So there's four stages in DNA replication. Initiation, separation, elongation, and termination, or I set, I like to use to remember. So let's talk about each of those steps. We have initiation of the replication process at a site called the origin of replication, or ORI. In prokaryotes, there's one site of replication, or ORI, and you can see we have a fork going in this direction and a fork going in this direction. You can see this area here is the new DNA that has, um, or the new strand of the DNA. With eukaryotes, there's multiple ori, multiple origins of replication. And you see that you've got a fork going this way and a fork going this way, and we've got the new strand of DNA being produced here. So initiation is where it starts, and it starts at the ori, or the origin of replication. The second process, separation, occurs where the, 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 the DNA strands, the double helix strands, the double helix unwinds and the two strands separate. And that occurs with an enzyme called helicase. So double helix, the helix, helicase. Helicase unwinds the, um, the double helix and separates the two strands. So elongation is the process of adding the new nucleotides to the DNA strand or producing that daughter strand. And that's facilitated by another enzyme called DNA polymerase. First we have a primer um, that binds a few RNA nucleotides and it binds to the recognition site along the DNA strand and it's attached by another enzyme called primase. So that starts the elongation process. Now, just a word, just a reminder about the anti-parallel directionality of DNA. So we've got our five prime end, and so we've got one, two, three, that's a three prime, four prime, five prime. So remember naming the carbons, first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, fifth carbon. So we call this with a phosphate, this is the five prime end, and then down here is the three prime end. So if we look at a whole um, DNA strand, you see we've got a three prime end and a five prime end. And the other strand is anti-parallel. So it runs from three prime to five prime. Now this is important because in DNA uh, replication or the elongation process, Nucleotides can only be added to the three prime end. So that's something that's really important to write down and always come back to thinking about when we're working out this directionality. Okay, so always added to the three prime end. 
So if we're adding to this, elongating this, it would always add to this end here. Okay, so okay, so just a little bit more terminology. We've got two types of strands of our daughter uh, DNA strands. We've got leading and lagging strands. Okay, so we've got our parental DNA that unzips thanks to DNA helicase. And then we've talked about the fact that the nucleotides can only be added to the three prime end. So if we have a nucleotide here, the next one gets added to this three prime end, and then the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So that's what happens on what we call the leading strand. In the leading strand, elongation is occurring in the direction of the fork progression, the direction that the DNA is being unzipped. But because the DNA uh, nucleotides can only be added to the three prime end, we have the opposite situation here with uh, our lagging strand. So uh, I'm going to talk more about this in a moment, but the replication is occurring in the opposite direction to the fork progression. So we end up with a discontinuous process and more about that in just a moment. So let's talk about the synthesis of the leading strand first of all. This is the leading strand here. So it unzips, um, the DNA helicase unzips it, and we've got our parental strand here, um, and the leading strand elongates in the same direction as the fork progression. So we see we have our laying down of our complementary bases, attaching each one to the three prime carbon of the previous base. Okay, so it's heading in this direction here, and we say that elongation is continuous. And let's compare that to the lagging strand, that's discontinuous. And the reason for it is because elongation is um, in the opposite direction to the fork progression. So if you imagine that only this part is exposed, first of all, so this is actually where the elongation starts. We've got our primer, and then our elongation is going in this direction here, always adding to that three prime end again. Okay, so it's going in this direction. And then once it gets to the end of this segment, the DNA polymerase is going to zip up here to this point, add a primer, and then, or the primase is going to add a primer, and then we're going to, again, add nucleotides um, in, uh, in, in the direction away from the fork progression. So we end up having a discontinuous process and these fragments, these short discontinuous fragments, we call Okazaki fragments. Then finally, these are glued together with DNA ligase there at the end. Okay, so that's why directionality is important with uh, DNA replication.